Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 3 The quest for more money <laughs> uh, There's not much going on here In fact, I may actually put this one into the video editor And edit a significant portion of this out If there's not a whole lot going on uh, Passenger satisfaction is above 90% uh, Environment isn't super pleasing, I guess That's been the biggest complaint thus far uh, everything else seems to be fine. We've added, uh, well, we haven't been there yet. Uh, it'll start tomorrow's flight schedule. For today's flight schedule. I also wish that they could, uh, you could pull up tomorrow's flight schedule as well and maybe eventually have different flight schedules for different days of the week. Uh, something else, well I guess we don't track days of the week, it's just days. Uh, something else that I've noticed too is, uh, we haven't researched it yet, but when you research pricing, it's how much do you charge airlines to use your runway per usage, and terminal usage per passenger, which is fine, but this should be based on uh, uh, gross weight of the aircraft. Uh, B-1900 is not going to cost the same as in Airbus A380 and that's just how airline or how airports do it in the real world I would much rather see it on a per usage uh, price basis to a dollars per or some bucks per uh, turn or per uh, ton for each landing because then as you got bigger aircraft in you would receive more for that landing of course, to probably offset that, there would need to be some sort of maintenance that you have to do on runways and stuff as well. Which we're uh, a ways away from being able to upgrade really much of anything without a bank loan, which I guess we could take out a loan, but uh, we really just need a day here where we're not spending any money uh, to see what our cash flow is like. Uh, 19,000 so we've got a positive cash flow of about eight thousand dollars a day which isn't too bad people's picked up all of their luggage and they are on their way but of course we are going to need to research operations so we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, we also needed to research bank loans but we'll come back the next day and we should do that but that should give us more passengers Again, for only having one terminal or one gate, uh, we're certainly maximizing our efficiency. I'm not seeing yet to where it's going to be necessarily beneficial to up to a larger I don't know, maybe perhaps next we will build a not enough money but yeah it looks like I have it set up to build two of those we might build that next an extra large how much is that forty two thousand yeah that wouldn't be a bad idea I think that we could do that and I think we can service multiple gates with one baggage depot four testing desk and assigned to one of one candidate gates so we might still be able to get away with only one baggage depot and then we'll have to purchase another baggage car, but that's fine. That'll just be part of that expansion. So 4 a.m., first flight in, scheduled departure, 5.30 a.m., 60 minutes for boarding. So yeah, out 30 minutes early. That's the minimum amount of time that we can schedule in there. Okay. Ten boarded. Ten of ten. Waiting for the baggage cart, actually. And he was out 15, 20 minutes early. Okay, that's the minimum that you can. So 
So yeah, there's not really any gaps here. Also having the ability to, to have like a cargo depot and scheduling cargo flights at night would be neat as well. Juno Connect, I think that's their first flight into here. Departs in 85 minutes. Yeah, about an hour early. Conceivably, we could fit in one more, like, B-1900, if I... Oh, we'll have to see about this 2 a 2 p.m. flight. If we can shorten the amount of time that they need uh, on the 195, which I imagine we probably will be able to. Uh, looks like that's 1378, yep. All right, let's see when 1378 gets out of here. They're scheduled for a 130 departure. They're out by one. So that is the minimum number of time that I can schedule for that. 215, and what is this? An Embraer 195. I'll go ahead and stretch that out. Boarding, 64. So they're out by 320. 345, yeah, that that is doable. Any more morning flights? 767. Sparkjet has three morning flights, 707. Shoot. What do we accept? 11 a.m., 1 p.m. There we go. That gives us 10 flights into here. Um, yeah, this is... We'll have to see what our schedule is going to be like, but... That's as profit maximization as I can get for one terminal. So... That's not good. Departing, no flight cancellations. Now we see how well. Ah, uh, looks like 26,000, 16,000 more or less. All right. We're going to go ahead and research bank loans with our CFO. Uh, we do not have the option to set pricing yet. Passenger satisfaction is pretty high. Open.
opening up security is going to have to be the next major thing that we do, and I have a feeling when we do, yeah, that's going to be 80,000. That's going to be very expensive to set up for more security. So here's our Embraer. Schedule for departure in 30 minutes. Out in time. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten flights. So as it stands right now, until we can build an air traffic control tower, we're really on that profit maximization as, as far as the number of flights in here per day. Uh, we, we can't add any more flights until we build an air traffic control. That's 30,000. So yeah, we basically got to wait until we save up a couple hundred thousand in cash. And then we can look at expanding. But I think our next expansion is going to have to cost about a half million. And probably the thing to do is to just let the game run for a few hours once we're sure that it's at the proc that we will make a profit every day and then cheat basically I'm not going to record it but I'll just actually I'll probably go upstairs and go do things and stuff but I do love this highlight the passengers see where everybody goes and stuff I find it to be very very interesting and then we're going to, whenever we do this, and we're going to expand security. Because whenever we build a second gate, we're definitely going to need probably three more, or two more baggage handlers, another metal detector, and probably two more ID checkers. It's ideally, I think, where we're going to be going. And then we'll just put like a four wide security exit over here that will come over to the baggage carousels. Departed at gate. Hey, spark jet came and went just fine. It looks like I didn't see anybody going, Oh, I missed my flight. And exercises and uh, annoyance, I guess you could say. So we got three 737s coming in, uh, several Embraer 195s, a couple of CRJ 190, or, uh, 900s. Yeah, I, uh, primarily regional service, uh, a couple of mainline airlines, or at least airliners. Not too shabby. Well, there's not much more that we can do until come back and save stuff later. So I'm going to call this episode here. And with that, let it run for a few hours and then record the next episode. Until then, see you next time.